Imagine a Japan, isolated from the world, a nation where samurai warriors still held sway. This was the Japan of the Tokugawa shogunate, an era marked by strict isolationist policies. For over 200 years, Japan had shut its doors to the outside world, maintaining a feudal system that was becoming increasingly at odds with the rapidly industrializing West. In this society, the samurai, the warrior class, held significant power. They were the ruling military class, living by a strict code of honor and discipline. The social hierarchy was rigid, the economy was primarily agrarian, and political power was centralized in the hands of the shogun. Yet beneath the surface, the seeds of change were sprouting. Economic pressures were mounting, and the rigid social structure was beginning to show cracks. The people of Japan were growing restless, yearning for change. The stage was set for a drastic change, a change that would thrust Japan into the modern world. Enter Commodore Matthew Perry of the United States Navy, the harbinger of change. Stepping off his black ship onto the shores of Japan in the mid-19th century, Perry was a symbol of the larger, industrialized world knocking on Japan's door. The Treaty of Kanagawa was signed under his watchful eye in 1854, ending Japan's two centuries of self-imposed isolation. This abrupt entry into the global stage was not without its challenges. The samurai class, once the proud warriors and protectors of the realm, found their status threatened by this foreign intrusion. Similarly, the general populace was left bewildered and dissatisfied as their world was turned upside down. Yet, these were the growing pains of a nation thrust into a new era. The Treaty of Kanagawa didn't just open Japan's ports to America, it opened the doors to Western influence, modernization, and the winds of change. The seeds of the Meiji Restoration were sown, and Japan was on the brink of a revolution. The year 1868 marked the beginning of a new era for Japan, the Meiji era. Setting the stage for this new era was the overthrow of the Tokugawa shogunate, a feudal military government that had ruled Japan for over two centuries. The power shift was dramatic restoring imperial rule under Emperor Meiji and marking the end of the samurai class's dominance. This period of change didn't stop with political restructuring. Sweeping reforms were implemented across various sectors, leading to the transformation and modernization of the island nation. In education, the government established a system that was compulsory for all, promoting literacy and numeracy. This new system laid the groundwork for an informed and skilled workforce, essential for a modern society. The military, too, underwent a significant overhaul. The samurai class, once the backbone of the military, was abolished. In its place, a national conscription system was implemented, creating a modern, Western-style army. This shift was a clear sign of Japan's intent to become a global military power. The industrial sector, the engine of any modern economy, was not left untouched. New industries were enthusiastically promoted and traditional ones were modernized. Western technology was eagerly adopted and infrastructure was rapidly developed. The Meiji Restoration was not merely a change of government, it was a revolution, a metamorphosis of an entire society. The Meiji Restoration was a turning point in Japan's history, a period of unprecedented change and modernization. The Meiji Restoration, a period of intense transformation, left an indelible mark on Japan. This era, spanning from 1868 to 1912, was a catalyst for change, ushering in a new chapter of Japanese history. From the ashes of feudal Japan, a modern nation was born, poised to take its place on the world stage. The Meiji Restoration revolutionized Japan's socio-political structure, replacing the age-old samurai class system with a modern centralized government. This seismic shift in governance led to a rapid industrialization and modernization of Japan's economy, transforming it from a primarily agrarian society to an industrial powerhouse. Influenced by Western ideas and technology, Japan embarked on a journey of rapid development. The introduction of Western-style education, science and technology and legal systems gave rise to a new breed of thinkers, innovators and leaders. This Western influence also extended to the military, as Japan built a modern, formidable force that would soon prove its worth on the international battlefield. 
The Meiji Restoration was not just about physical and structural changes. It was a period of cultural and intellectual awakening, a time when Japan embraced modernity while preserving its unique cultural identity. This delicate balance between tradition and modernity is a hallmark of Japan's national character even today. The Meiji Restoration was a pivotal moment that propelled Japan into the modern era. Through this transformation, Japan emerged as a world power, marking the beginning of its journey towards becoming the innovative, technologically advanced nation we know today. In a span of just a few decades, Japan metamorphosed from a feudal society into a modern nation. Remember how the Tokugawa shogunate's isolationist policies once held sway? Then Commodore Perry's arrival steered the course of history. The Meiji Restoration that followed was a period of remarkable change, shaping Japan into the modern entity we know today. Its impact is still palpable, echoing through the centuries, and thus the land of the rising sun rose to become a global powerhouse, all thanks to the transformative period known as the Meiji Restoration.